Welcome back guys to another episode brought to you by Games Glitches and in today's episode we're gonna take a look at what happens when you max out all the reputations with Arcanist, Freelancers and Sentinels and all the changes to the city plus the basically the hidden quest that unlocks afterwards so without any further ado let's jump into it and please remember if you enjoyed this content i would really appreciate it if you hit that like button really helps out the channel and grow now first of all when you unlock each of the reputations with arcanist freelancers or sentinels you will also unlock enormous amounts of blueprints that i have covered in my previous video as you could see guys here right here are the sentinels reputation and you will unlock tons and tons and tons of epic blueprints when you will max out out three reputations on top of that there are going to be many many changes for example as you could guys could see up here there are some changes that are taking place but there are going to be a lot more than this alone so I'm just going to go through each one of them and show you guys where they're located so you could pretty much see all of the changes within your town as you upgrade your loyalty unfortunately there are not that many changes so this should be a very quick tour now arcanist one unlocks the glowstone right here at the shop at your very first javelin when you basically load into the game this girl is standing right over here right next to this stone that you pretty much unlock it's actually a really nice looking stone it basically allows you to access the regular store you know basically where you could buy anything that you need at arcanist level 2 the pond basically gets these leaves on top right here and the fish inside the pond now, the last thing that you get as an Arcanist 3 is an update to the hub area. Right here, if you guys take a look, this is basically where the main storyline takes place and where you can get a bunch of quests. This is basically what they give you. This area right over here. That's pretty much it. And it's not even accessible. And it's extremely hard to see, kind of beckons the question of why it's even there. Maybe there'll be a future purpose to this, but as of now, this is all that you can see from getting through Arcanist 3. Now, with Freelancer Loyalty, you would notice the most changes to the city. Once you acquired Freelancer Loyalty 1, you will notice that a crumbled statue is now a beautiful statue holding a star. As you guys could see right here, it's no longer just a piles of stone. Once you get to Freelancer Tier 2, you will unlock this basically javelin right here. It's based pretty much a statue, it's non-functional, it's just purely for looks. It looks really, really nice and you could quickly unlock it with basically having Freelancer 2. Once you acquire to Freelancer 3, that is where the most fun begins. Now, when you complete Freelancer rank 3, you would notice that they're only telling you under faction that you will only acquire a pair of guns. The, here are these pair of guns, right over here. They look very beautiful, they come with a storyline and everything apparently, you know, been used by uh, old as Lancer and they've been passed down to generation. But what they don't mention is that they also give you the heart of the Titan. Here's the heart of the Titan. They also give you this weird thing right here, which I have no idea what this is at all. They also give you this little box right here that you could take a look at. All of a sudden that starts to appear even though it's not in the description. On top of that, one, they also provide you with these tools right over here in this box right here, which are also interesting, very, very interesting that they just simply added them in. This interesting skull right here of your basically slayed enemy, which you already killed probably hundreds of, not if hundreds of thousands, let me refresh that right here it's a very interesting skull this is a very nice addition to your collections 
Then they also give you this kind of a flag with a skull or a helmet of your enemy. Oh, and almost forgot to mention this little green orb right over here. The thing is, there's a bigger version of it down there. Right over there. Now, the Sentinel's loyalty is the most disappointing one of them all. For Sentinel loyalty 1, it says that apparently a med bay appears. Unless they consider this as the med bay, I was not really able to find the med bay that looked like the picture. Maybe there is one and I kept walking by it, but after putting tons of hours into it, I did not find anything. The second of all, under their faction tier 2, under Sentinel Loyalty 2, all you really get are the paintings. The paintings are located right near the entrance. Now the paintings for Loyalty 2 are located in this hallways with two golden doors. As you can see here, here's the painting that was depicted in the Loyalty 2. And there are other paintings here pretty much depicting the history of how these things, how javelins were created, how javelins fought back, you know, and all of that, how the javelins build the empire pretty much. These are the paintings and you also get some painting changes out here, but that is pretty much it for the faction too. Now, for Sentinel Loyalty 3, you would pretty much just get these medical beds. This is where your javelin is. If you go up here behind, turn to the left, you'll find these beds right here have been already set up for you. Plus, you'll be able to pick up a codex helmet on this end and a book of codex over here, which is also very nice if you're uh, you know, completionist like myself. Now, let's get to the juicy part, the part where many of you are wondering what the fuck do I get for farming out all of this reputation for so many hours. Now, if we take a look under the faction, a brand new quest appears called Champion of Tarsus. Earn high level support from the Arcanist freelancers and Sentinels to create a new monument to honor General Tarsus, the first amongst the Legion of Dawn, basically creating some form of a room somewhere here, or there'll be an additional room, or probably behind, you know, where it's being constructed. Uh, if you take a look all the way, you know, or when you go all the way to the end, where it's being constructed area, maybe that's where it is. I am yet to progress to it. It took me tons of many, 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 many hours. I mean, if you're playing this game, you already know how annoying it is to farm out all of this uh, reputation. So I end to now to do 50,000, 50,000, 50,000 in each one, Arcanist, Freelancer, and Sentinel, and to unlock all of these legendary crafts, this is going to take a hot minute. I mean, unless I'm going to be grinding for next 24 hours for next several days without sleep or eating I don't honestly see unless there is going to be a trick and an easy way of doing it unless it's over exaggerated but this is the current quest that you unlock once you complete all the reputations what continues after this I do not know and there's no information online you know as far as I'm concerned this is uh, the first time I'm seeing my Myself, what actually is available after you get all the reputations and I'm quite curious what is this going to look like and what is this going to unlock further on because we do have another challenge that could potentially unlock some other changes for example if you take a look at your map I don't know if you guys have yet unlocked it but it's a spoil called challenge of the Legionnaires of valor where you need to pretty much do tons and tons of different things for you to unlock it yep and I missed a codex these things are all over the place and it's extremely easy to miss them you know remember one there one there and one over here once I clear this challenge I will let you guys know exactly what gets unlocked what you get and if there's any kind of continuation after this 
enormous, horrendous, extremely tedious quest that they're pretty much making us do which feels extremely extremely grindy because now you're repeating missions over and over and over and i really hope i'll have enough patience to actually get through 50,000 points on each one of them because this seems to be brutal you know if you guys enjoyed this video i would really appreciate it if you click that like button you know so i know that i'm making the right content plus helps out the channel grow you know i will definitely keep struggling in this and i will come out with a video as soon as i find out what goes on with this if you guys already know what go up what happens after this please feel free to leave the uh, messages in the comments below so i'll know what to look forward to thank you all again for watching and have a wonderful day